Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Shutdoor, or Dork Shutter, coming back to episode 9 of Direwolf 20's 1.19 mod pack. And today, we are actually just gonna keep going with AE2. So, behind me, you can see I have a few large Sardis Cord crystals here. And we want to be careful not to actually break anything, but you can see how this has become chipped. This one's flawed. This one's chipped. Chipped chipped so yes they do degrade into tears right um there is a chance that this can keep going and break into um like actual certus quartz blocks and not be able to be repaired uh, but you can see that the large apparently isn't actually the final tier it is the certus quartz cluster all right so if we mine this with the fortune we got five out of that perfect but I think the problem is, is if you wanted to keep this, you would have to have like one side only kind of thing. Because it seems like you wouldn't be able to really do anything. I guess you could silk touch them, maybe? I don't even know if that's possible. And putting them back on. But yeah, I guess after these all uh, break down or decay, we can just go hunt for more. I don't really think there's a better way to do this. Not really, at least. So, that's a thing. Anyway, let's get on to this. So, we need Fluix Crystals. I think that's kind of where we want to go. I really need to put more dirt or something right here. Um, but I think I want to try and get uh, better growth on this, right? I want to try and get... The uh, charger, the it's gross, growth crystal growth accelerator. Perfect. And to do that, of course, we're going to need some quartz, which I actually went and harvested up some real quick, and some redstone. And also, let me think, let me remember. Normal charged Sardis quartz. Okay. So let me get some charged Sardis quartz and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I have 32 charged Sardis Quartz Crystals, and we are just going to drop all of those, drop this, and drop this, and this will produce Fluix Crystals. Okay, we can just pick everything up here. And you can see we got 32 in total, because you get two per. So, with this, we can now... Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. It's like a mixing recipe. Fancy. Um, it's also a Fluix Dust recipe. Okay, anyway... We have this. What can we do with this? Well, we can start getting the growth crystal accelerator chamber thingy my bobber. Okay. Um, let's get rid of that. I was working on some stuff. I got the helmet, that leather helmet upgraded to a nether goober helmet. And uh, that's all I did off camera besides mining. So there's a fluix block. Now we'll need fluix cables, which require a quartz uh, thing. What is that? Quartz fiber? Okay. And I should have, there it is. That's what I was looking for. And then we'll need some sort of glass. Okay, and then we'll need quartz glass and we'll need red, or iron, not redstone. All right. So, of course, with this, let's actually go grab our Silk Touch here. Where is that? Right there. So, I don't know how this works, but I want to take a... Uh, this one's not got that many on it. We'll take this one. Okay. And let's quickly... Okay, so we have the flawed version. And if I hook this up here... Oh no. How do I hook this thing up then? I know there's got to be a way to hook this up. I might need a controller. Right? Because if I put this down, put this down... No? Yes. Okay. 
So I will need some sort of controller to do this. Which might make things more complicated. Okay. Let me get that and I'll be right back. So upon further examination, I think we actually need an energy acceptor. Um, which will just basically allow for RF to be transferred into AE, which is actually what these uh, crystal growth chargers and all of that actually run off of. These just have a built-in RF uh, exchange type of thing. You can see it says KAE, which is Killa um, Applied Energy or something of that sort. So if we put this here, we should be able to attach this. You can see that it is actually active. Um, and I don't know fully how this works. So we're going to kind of just test this here. Uh, it looks like we got some large ones on this one. Actually, no, I wait. I picked one up. Hold on. I picked one up. I don't need to do that. And actually, what I want to do is this. Right? Just do this. And then build a block out. And see what happens. Okay? This should increase it. I'm hoping... It doesn't need to be, like, on top of it. If it does, then that's that's okay. But, like, see, let's pick this up. So if I do, like, right here. I don't, like, I don't know the distance. Okay, I mean, that looks like it's working. Much quicker. Yeah, that looks like it's going much quicker. But you can see that it's already down into a damaged state. So I'm wondering if... I want to see if this actually will go down into a Certus Quartz block um, while attached to this, okay? That's one of my, my inquiries right now, is I want to know... Okay, there it goes. And it doesn't destroy the buds. So in theory, you could just come in here, you could harvest these. I want to know something else as well. So we'll take this. We'll shock one of these. Actually, shock three of them. Okay. And then we take this, throw this into water. One, two, three. It should pop. Okay, there you go. So this should be now a flawed one. So, yes, you could make this indefinitely just by having a singular or four or five or 10 or 20 or whatever, however many of these, get these crystal growth accelerators. And I'm pretty sure you could probably space this out. Um, we might try in a minute, but I'm just going to keep getting Certus Quartz right now. I'm worried about Certus Quartz because we do not have a whole lot of these and we need to make silicone. Yes, we can use Nether Quartz, but I don't have an abundance of Nether Quartz as of current. So we're going to wait on that. Let me get a lot of this stuff uh, off camera and I will be back and uh, hopefully be ready to start Applied Energistics. How is our power doing, by the way? Uh, looks like everything is kind of full, so that's good to know. And uh, yeah, don't forget, Fortune does work on these, hence why I'm using this pickaxe. Uh, so that's a good thing. So I quickly actually tested this. And um, you can see these two on the side, left and right. I actually just placed these on there, and they are growing. So that's the thing. If you have a damaged Certus Quartz or a broken, you know, fully Certus Quartz block, you can actually put the buds back on. I just, you know, that's something I think is pretty nifty. So example, I can take this large, throw it back on here, and it should go back to a Certus Quartz cluster in a second or so. Oh, well, actually, it won't because it's back to a Certus Quartz block. But let me get that and I can show you guys. All right, we've got the flawed, but large, large, and then just watch. It takes a second. Come on, there it goes. 
And of course, any other ones I have, I can just throw back on here and they will grow. I mean, is it worth it? Eh, not really. But knowing that is a good thing, especially when you're starting out, if you don't want to get a whole bunch of dust. Um, and the only way to actually get dust out of these things, by the way, is if you use the inscriber or the advanced inscriber. So keep that in mind as well. So if you do want more dust, you could just mine all of the ones that are on here that are, you know, not clusters fully, not the actual large uh, Certus Quartz clusters, and you'd be fine just because, I mean, at the end of the day, it takes more time to put them on there, right? So... And I don't think we have anything in here to actually place blocks, uh, like, or well, not place blocks, but activate blocks or anything. Because we've got Cyclex block placer, industrial for going, and factory block placer. Okay. But yeah, I mean, this is working. I could definitely see ways to automate this. Integrated dynamics is definitely going to be useful for something like this. Even AE2 would honestly allow you to automate this uh, itself. Really, just all you'd need to do is make sure you do annihilation planes, construction planes, all those fancy planes. Uh, is it a construction plane? I don't even think it is. I think it's annihilation and formation and annihilation. And of course, the annihilation one is the one that would break blocks when they meet a uh, certain requirement, right? So... Yeah, I'm just going to harvest and I'll be back. So I think it's time to think of something real quick. So, oh man, do I, I don't have enough. I really need more ender pearls. Really, really do. The reason I need more ender pearls is because I was going to attempt to try something. I didn't think I had that little amount of ender pearls. Apparently I do. Um, well, shucks. Okay, well, anyway, uh, I think I've got enough service courts for a little while. I have a decent amount, and the thing came up that I need slime balls in the future uh, for quite a few things, and I don't really have a whole lot of slime balls. But what I do have is a slime spawn egg. The slime spawn egg I got out of a chest uh, under one of the cave spider spawners. And in theory, all I need to do is take a, where's it at here? Do to do, oh, that's interesting. No AI. Okay, that's a new one. Uh, this, comparator. All I need to do is take a comparator to a spawner. Um, Phantom, cave spider, zombie, zombie, zombie. Uh, do this, do this. This will prevent it from ever turning on unless I give it a redstone signal. And then I right click with this and now we are spawning slimes. Perfect, okay? Um, and we can actually continue to upgrade this. Uh, where are we at here? Do we do sugar cane? If I take sugar, this will actually minimize the spawn delay. Of course, it still has a max of 800, which is fine. And if we go back up here to our spawners and we press U, this is universal, by the way. Um, if you hold quartz in your offhand and put a, the item that does something else in your right hand, so for example, quartz in the left, gas in the right, it'll minus by two entities, max two entities, okay? And that's all of this. So it just removes that. That's what this minus is. Um, and then max spawn delay. There you go. Yeah, see, it says it right there. Uh, the num the maximum number of ticks between spawns. Okay, so if I had clocks, of course. Um, activation range. I'm pretty sure there is one that completely removes... Oh, what am I looking at here? Hold on, let me go back to the one. Okay, so ignores players. Wither Skeleton, or the, the Nether Star, Wither Skeleton Star, it's what I was about to say for some reason, ignores players completely. 
uh, ignores light, uh, max entities that can spawn from it, max spawn count, uh, silent, so you don't hear anything, no AI, uh, two activation range. Okay, so I mean, yes, there is plenty of things. There's no conditions. That is awesome. Alrighty. So if I actually grab a lever, which I thought I had one in here, I do, and I do not do not break this without silk touch, by the way. That's how I pick these up, is silk touch. So if I take this outside, and, and I'm going to make a mob farm out of this, by the way, hence why I'm showing you guys this rather than, uh, you know, just doing this. It's going to spawn slimes. I don't know if they're going to be big, I don't know if they're going to be small, but it should spawn slimes maybe it might need to be daytime this is why we need like a dragon egg and stuff to ignore conditions ignore lighting all of that jazz but this should let's move it to a bigger area maybe should spawn slimes i don't know why it's not hello um And max in entities, activation range, spawn range. I do not know why that is not working. Um, uh, well, I think the easiest way to try and get this to work is by pillaring up here. And doing this. And of course, this is not, this is temporary. All of this is temporary. I'm just kind of messing around for a second. All right, let's not fall to our deaths here. All right, so if I hit this and then pillar down. Come on. Don't don't tell me I'm crazy here. This should work. Uh, it's not going to work. I'm not 100% sure why it's not working. Um, let me go grab one more thing. Doodly do I should have that somewhere. We also have the spirits mod, uh, which I could use. Just hoping to not have to go and do that kind of stuff right now. I was kind of just hoping this would work without me having to do a whole lot. But, uh, like a temporary thing and then I could get mob farm set up sometime. Because I know I did this last season, which I don't know if I really want to do mob farms like crazy like I did last season either. So, I guess we'll see. No? Nothing? Alright. Well, we can always go on to another option. Um, I know the way Direwolf20 did it is he is using Create, using Dough, and Lime Dye. Um, there is no real other way to get it other than killing slimes. Uh, I mean, you could do force craft getting the actual chew jelly. Um, doing it this way through pressure chambers, uh, magma key creams. Which, I mean, you could technically make a magma cream farm by using lava and gravel. Or just lava, magma block. You would then make it into a, um, that guarantees you one though. That's not really the best. Yeah, you do the multi-servo -per press to get four. Okay, I mean, yeah, you can definitely make slime balls, but I just don't know why this isn't spawning anything. That is really, really weird. It should just be spawning. 
All right, I'll deal with this later. Alrighty, so quickly I went ahead and made the advanced inscribers. Um, so I think what I want to do is start just going towards AE. Um, I really don't want to put everything in this building. I think what I'm going to do is get power to this uh, up top here, which may be a little bit more than what I'm wanting to do, but I think I want to actually have AE2 in here um, for now. We might move it into another central building, but what we need to make is a ME controller. Uh, looks like we actually need Skystone. I don't know if I actually have any Skystone. Oh, right there. Actually, I just saw it. Okay, so we'll smelt this up. And basically, this is your central piece of your ME network. And you need this to power, to run cables, basically everything. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is actually a multi-block as well. So that's a thing to keep in mind. You can build more than one and you can make massive ones that have more channels and yada, yada, yada. There's a lot of things that we'll get into sooner or later. All right, so we've got our ME controller. And actually, I didn't even think about that. Looking at advancements here, uh, there should be AE2. And this is kind of your guide, in all honesty. Um, so you can see that we just obtained this, which is your controller. And of course, getting a cell, um, network diagnostic tool, which will tell you channels and all of that stuff, your grid, uh, craft a crafting terminal, an encoding terminal, um, a portable cell, storage cell shuffle, so craft an I.O. port, um, tons and tons of good stuff, cables, uh, dense cables, facades, P2P tunnels, quantum links, storage bus. That's actually one of the things we're going to craft for drawers, by the way, is storage bus. Um, so yeah, I mean, tons and tons of good stuff, but how are we going to power this thing? That's another question. So how we're going to power this is simple. We are going to look at what is called flux networks. This is really not the best time to get into flux networks because it isn't really that easy to automate, unlike what I really wish it was. Um, but you can see actually that it is a bit broken. By the way, you can see the textures. Uh, and it looks like, yeah, we can still do the flux block. So first things first, we need to go down to the... Um, what am I looking for? To bedrock and get a few nether core or for a few pieces of this okay so let me go do that real quick and i'll be right back all right so we're down here at bedrock and the first thing we're going to do of course is take a piece of obsidian which is in here place this right here take this throw this under here right click with an empty hand no punch aha okay and we will then get a piece of cobblestone but we got 62 flux dust which is a fantastic amount. Um, I could actually get more. Uh, you know what? Since I'm down here, I might as well. Um, but yeah, that was just how you get flux dust. I'm going to get back upstairs after getting a little bit more. And uh, then we can carry on with everything else uh, with flux networks. Alrighty. So now we can get into flux networks, which we'll need two sets of these. And actually, crap, we need more than two sets. Yikes. Well, I'm going to have to go get another Ender Pearl. I thought I only needed two. I was wrong. But let me go into the Nether and hunt down a singular Enderman or multiple Endermen until I get an Ender Pearl, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so uh, we got a Flux Plug, and now we need a Flux Point, which will require a block of redstone and another set of the Flux Cores. And that should be everything we need to get this going here. So the flux point provides energy. Well, flux plug is where you basically plug into your power source and provide wireless power. Okay, so we come up here and we'll put this down uh, right here. No, no, no. I mean, I want to get a laser node. 
Actually, so I guess, yes. Let's put that right here. Let's go laser IO. Okay. And energy card is what we'll want to get. So that way we can then transfer power up here so we can have the cables running in our house and all that stuff. So, um, doodly do. Which means that we need... Okay, so they're in here. I just had to make sure where they were. And... I got plenty of gold and everything, so let's just grab nuggets. And then quartz is going to be actually in here. And then energy card. And of course, we'll just do insert on this. So we don't need to change anything. And we'll insert into this side. And then we'll name new network uh, we can just do public doesn't matter power power oops so we'll just name this uh power power and let's put this as this red color uh this is what we're going to send into uh no limits no nothing of course there's not going to be a pool for this because we do not have the controller down which is what we're going to be doing now so we'll take this flux point, go upstairs, and I think for now we'll set this. Uh, no, let's let's not break that. Let's just go. Uh, let's just do it right here for right now. So let's go flux point. Power, power. All right. You can see that this turns on. So it uses two AE a tick. No idea what two AE is to convert to FE or RF, whatever. Um, but that is awesome. Okay, so now what we need is... Um, so we've got this stuff, right? We'll need a ME drive. An ME drive. Perfect, perfect. Do I have any more processors? I do. Okay, so... We'll need to make more of these things as well. So, Fluix Crystals. Some more cables, and then we need more iron. And of course, we're going to get this all the drawers and everything upstairs as well. So this area will be basically used for machines and everything while all of our storage is taken care of upstairs. So we'll now get the ME drive. And of course, now our next component is an M1 or an MK um, storage component. Okay, so we need logic processors which I have plenty of them that I actually convert. So I need silicone, um, which I need to actually make, which I guess we can take a stack of Certus Quartz crystals. I think we need to grind these down, don't we? Now, let's see. What am I thinking? I know that we need to get... This, this, silicone is, yeah, okay, so that's what I was thinking. So we'll need to actually inscribe this to get dust, right? So take this, throw this in here, and this will get us dust. Okay. And then this dust can then be used to get the actual um, silicone. Which I guess actually we really don't need to smelt these down. That was a mistake. I mean, we'll need the dust anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but we could just grab a stack of... Or a couple stacks of this nether quartz and just get them refined storage silicone for right now. Uh, 
Uh, let me get that. Let me get the uh, proper processors and stuff, because crafting this stuff is going to take a while. So I was just browsing JEI, and apparently there's a super storage component, which allows for you to actually get um, items, fluids, and chemicals. That's pretty interesting. I didn't know anything about this, but this is from AE Add-ons. So you've got the 1024K. Oh, and that one actually, the storage cell actually has 100 types in it. So these actually go up in types, which is actually interesting because none of the other ones have any other types. So if we actually look up storage cell, you can see that we have the mega cells, which only store nine types. So that'd be like cobblestone, dirt, whatever. Um... You got the fluids. Yeah, I don't actually see any other mod adding different types. And, of course, chemical, I believe, is mechanism, right? So that's pretty cool. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And these are mechanism as well, the chemical storage from the mega, stu mega chemical. And that one looks like it would actually store radioactive waste. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Things to look at. So, I am working on getting our first drive. So, I actually want to make a higher tier than 1K. Um, and the reason that is, is not because it's, like, super important because of all the types. Um, you kind of just go with the third or fourth tier and you're fine. Um, but it's mostly because I want to be able to be comfortable with however many items I put in here of those 63 types. So we're going to get some 4Ks here, which require quartz glass, which I did not notice. So let's actually just grab some of this and some of glass. And just uh, 32? Nope, 28. Man, I was close to the number here. All right, so we'll then do 4K, which requires more redstone. All right, so one, two, three. And one, two, and I guess I did not craft enough of these to actually do anything. So we've got six of those. And if we go to 16K, I believe, this is kind of where I want to stop with this, is at 16K. We'll just get two of these bad boys. And this is the recipe here, so we'll need some iron. Iron, iron. And the good thing about having an ME system will be we don't have to run around. We can all just craft in one location. So that's also a fantastic idea. Um, but there is our one and there is our two. And we can come upstairs now and put this to good use. So if we come over here. We can just slap this on the side of it for now and put one and two. You can see that they have a green light. That is fantastic. Good. Um, now what we need is a terminal uh, or a grid, whatever you want to call it here. So uh, we have an ME terminal or we have an ME crafting terminal, but you need one first. So let's see here. So let's grab those. And then ME terminal, which needs an annihilation plane, which needs Fluix dust, which Fluix dust can only be made in an inscriber. So let's go do that real quick. Auto crafting is going to be the nicest thing ever when it comes to all of this shenanigans. I don't know why I have an iron pickaxe all of a sudden. Like I'm just getting random tools and it's really getting old. <laughs> I'm gonna I, I might just like figure out how to get rid of apothesis partially because this I don't like all these tools. Um has a diamond effectiveness. This tool breaks a 3 by 2 area. It's, I mean, that's like cool, but like, I don't even know where it came from. Alright. 
So with that, let's go craft up the grid. Which is this one. So we need an annihilation and a formation. ME terminal. And then, of course, we'll need a crafting table. We'll just take this one out. All right. So now what we can do is we could actually come upstairs here. And off of this, we can then place a ME crafting terminal. In the wrong direction, of course, because why wouldn't we? There we go. And this will access the system. And it looks like for some reason the height is not going to work, um, but that is A-OK. -okay. It's most likely because I have uh, in scale 4. But it, what if we do auto? Will this allow for me to do it? No. Okay. I mean, we can scale down to three. So that way we have uh, more items on here. I just hope that's not like too annoying for anybody viewing this video. But uh, yeah. And this is auto JEI synchronized. That is fantastic. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so what kind of things do we want to throw in here? Well, think first, let's throw the like crafting components that we need for AE2 in here. Um, and let's look at getting a storage bus. So a storage bus requires an interface and a, a piston that is not sticky and a piston that is sticky. Okay. So let's grab just a normal interface. And then let's go down here and take out the... Man, everything looks so tiny now. I'm not used to it. Uh, so piston. Do we have any pistons in here? Doesn't look like it. All right, so let's grab a slime ball or two here. So piston. We'll need cobblestone. And some wood, not that. I was trying to grab the oak planks. And we'll need two of these bad boys. All right, then one sticky piston. And that will allow for us to get the, whatchamacallit, what did I just completely forget? Storage bus. All right, so a storage bus. What is this exactly? Okay, so what we'll do is we will run, I think I might knock this out for a second here and put this in this corner because we're going to run cable to a controller, which I'm actually going to put up here so it's out of the way and put all of our drawers in like this area here. So like starting here, we'll put drawers and we'll line this wall up to probably about here. So that way, I mean, we could have multiple drawers, by the way, drawer systems. Hence why, you know, we could probably put the controller here and then drawers here. So we have that line to put storage buses. So uh, let's actually quickly grab um, this drawer controller and also this... Uh, just a couple drawers so we can kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about here. All right, so if we take our controller and we put that, say, right about here, we can run cables from this point. Let me actually like, get up here. And we can then put another cable here, storage bus there, okay? And then we take our drawers, you know, full of blocks or whatever. One, two, three. And then we take our linking device and configuration tool. All we need is really our linking tool right now. And we just link all three of these. 
this should show mineral logs. So if I type in log, you can see that we now have that. If I take out a stack, we should see the uh, 330. Throw this back in here. We should see 394. Perfect. So this is just like refined storage, uh, external storage bus. Uh, I believe it's like external, right? Yes, just like this, the external storage from refined storage. So now I can line this up with drawers and that way we'll actually have all of this inside the system without filling up any of these types. Of course, you can see that we already have seven different types in here, which is this, 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 and of course this. So there's seven different items. So I'm going to get this all done off camera. Um, maybe make some more uh, discs and stuff of that nature. Um, but for now, I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really enjoying this. I'm excited for AE2 and all of the possibilities. Stay awesome. See you around. Bye-bye.